will reveal what happens when Wall Street tanks. Stock markets crash. Bankruptcy. Foreclosures. A global meltdown. And the government bails. By spending just a few million dollars to buy Congress, Wall Street was given billions. The motion is adopted. There's got to be some kind of a rebellion between the people that have nothing and the people that's got it all. Everything was being handled by the Treasury Secretary from Goldman Sachs. They had Congress right where they wanted them. This was almost like an intelligence operation. This is straight up capitalism. <laughs> Boom. All right, those were a few scenes from Michael Moore's new movie, Capitalism, A Love Story. Now, the movie tells a dark story about the capitalist economic system and urges Americans to rise up and fight against it. And believe it or not, the writer, producer, director of that film, the one and only Michael Moore. How many years has it been? It's been a while. It's, it's been, been a while. while. Yes, thank well, you for having me here. Well, you're very welcome. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Um, as a matter of fact, the last time I interviewed you, we had a bet. Right. Yes. And I won the bet. The bet you, was? You won the bet. Actually, this it wasn't the last time. This was on your radio show. Right. Back in uh, 2002. And I just happened to be on your, your uh, show there when Matt Drudge uh, texted you on the, on the computer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Can I show you that? How did you, how did you, oh, I told I, you. No, I remember because, yeah. Uh, yeah, you were sitting on the thing. And I said, he says, oh, I'm getting a message from Matt, Matt Drudge. I said, what's he saying? He said, your book just went to number one on the bestseller list. I remember that. And I said, geez, this is happening on your show, this, mm -hmm. this special moment. So you, you have it, fond memories it, of me in your past. So the bet I gave was, you credit. I figured, you know, in the hour oh, we were Christ. on, the book had gone from nothing to number one. Well, so thank you for that, by the way. But uh, <laughs> you, you have just ruined my credibility. No. <laughs> you just destroyed my show. But then, then we got talking, and um, I said that, you know, George W. Bush, uh, he'll, he will either have to resign or he'll be impeached uh, by the end of his, his term. Mm -hmm. And you said, no way, that's not going to happen. And I said, okay, bet. And then we had a bet where if, if, I, um, if I won the bet, mm -hmm. you would have to wear a button on the show one night that said, <laughs> I love Hillary. <laughs> Thank and, God I won. Thank God. And if, <laughs> and, uh, and if you won uh, and I lost, I would have to stand in front of the White House with a sign that said Sean Hannity was right. And we and so yes. Well, we have a, a version. There, there, there I am. All right, right there. Uh, <laughs> now, in fairness, I think everybody at home can figure this. Out. You didn't exactly do it at the White House. We. Yeah, well, I did it on your set here, but I. But I. <laughs> I, 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 I. But I mean, it was. Look, how about this? It was hard enough to walk through the Upper West Side of Manhattan tonight holding that sign. You were not holding I, that I, sign. Yes, I, yes, see I, yes. I had to. I had to bring the sign here, yeah. and people were stopping me, going, "What are you doing with that sign?" I said, "Well, I lost the bet. I mean, I'm, I'm a man of my word, and." There you right, go. And I appreciate it. We'll, but, but by the end of tonight's show, we'll have another bet. All right, let, me, let me go over. <laughs> These are serious issues that you raise in your film, okay? Yes. And by the way, I went in late. I had a hat. I had a disguise. I didn't want, peop I didn't want people to see me sneaking good, in, and good. I snuck out early, okay? Yeah, so yeah. You, bought a, you bought a ticket for Zombieland and then snuck into the well, other I want, theater. Uh, kind of like yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> well, kind of, something like that. Right. Um, and I want a refund before you leave here tonight. <laughs> no. All right, no, but in all seriousness, look, you're a talented movie maker. You have a left-wing point of view. You don't apologize for it. I'm, I'm going to give you credit for that. Right. Because I think you're an unapologetic socialist, however you want to describe yourself. Fair? Christian. I'm a Christian. Yeah, well, but we have different views on the economics. Well, system. no, but I believe I believe in what Jesus said. That so do I. You you actually you were, well what, are you Catholic? I'm Catholic. You, yeah. Really? Did Christian. you go to mass on Sunday? Every Sunday I went to theology. I you studied went, theology. You went to mass this past Sunday? I did. Oh, well, what was the sermon about? Uh, well, you remember the it gospel? Was, it was about Michael Moore and no, no, uh, come Catholicism. on, you didn't go. Really, you didn't go. Well, no, no, I, I go went. every Sunday. I go every Sunday. Well, so do you remember I the gospel this past Sunday? The gospel this past Sunday. It was just two days ago. I don't remember. I went it Saturday night. I went Saturday night. You went. I hate to say it, I got there about as late as I went to your movie. So. Right, right. Well, yeah. the, <laughs> what, you know, the, the Jesus mm -hmm. was very clear about uh, the rich man is going to have a very hard time getting into The heaven. eye of the needle, that's right. Yeah, that's and right. that the first will be last and the last will be first. Well, you're rich, so you're going to be last. And we will be, well, if I don't do good with what blessings I've received on this uh, earth, that's right. absolutely right. So, uh, but we'll, we're going to be judged, you would agree with us, by how we treat the least among us. I totally agree. Right. Totally. So I'm very generous, as my wife is, with charity, and I think every, anybody that's been blessed, mm -hmm. and, is, and this gets to the heart of, I guess, the debate we're going to yeah, have here okay. tonight. And I, I want to set this up. Look, Fortune Magazine, and I don't know what your net worth is, you're a multimillionaire, correct? I, I would say that, I wouldn't say that, I would say that, 
I mean, if you count what the value of my house, I got a, a house in Michigan, I got an apartment here Michael, in New York. So. You're a multi So those are worth a lot of money. Okay, yeah, you're a multi yeah. You travel around, I know for a fact, you have chartered Gulfstream 5s, the most expensive private jet in the sky. Just No, about. I've never, I have never chartered a jet. Uh, uh, You've I've never chartered never a jet a, in your I've life? Never char I've never paid a dime for a jet. You've are you never been me? in a private jet? I, the studio, as you know, they, oh. they, when they send you out on a tour, they sometimes will send you around. Right, because I was at a, a tarmac jet, and somebody pointed out and said, that's Michael Moore's jet one night. Well, and I tried to wait for say, you. You know, because I got a jet. No, I got but a no, jet no, no, they said it, they didn't say it was yours, but you were charged. Right. But you're a multi-multi-millionaire. Well, let, let me go over the I'm numbers. I'm not a multi-multi-millionaire. I have done well, obviously. I'm, I, my, three of the top six documentaries of all time grossing sure, are absolutely. made by me so 300 so, million according to fortune magazine well, not for me that the studio so grossing that yes, okay, gross, yes but yeah, and then, all right, 200 million alone for fahrenheit 9 11. yeah not for me yes for the not, studio, not all for correct. you but <laughs> not all not so in your reports you got 21 million from disney to yeah. direct but let's just establish that i do well all so right, what's your enough. point well my point is this michael because i don't have a problem you are, you seem to want to trash capitalism in this movie it's, it's, yeah. it's total trashing of it, mm -hmm. right. and, and you do bring up religious quotes, and you do mm -hmm. go to religious figures in the movie. Mm -hmm. See, I did go to see it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you show video in, in the movie, et cetera, et cetera, about families that I, I have compassion for uh, in, in this movie. Here's my point. If you really believe this, and you yourself own millions of dollars worth of property, uh -huh. and I you make millions of dollars, if you, cashed out, yeah. if you cashed out, you'd be worth millions. If you I, don't even want to admit it. No, I just admitted it. I just said that. Millions. You're I a millionaire. Have, I didn't. I said that I have a house in Michigan. I have an apartment here. But you're so stuck on this. You, I know it upsets you. It and doesn't. Other, and it, other. It, oh, why you? Why you keep bringing it because up? Because my point is that if you, if the capitalist system allowed you to no, get the, here, no, it didn't. Yes, it did. <laughs> you think the capitalist system? Uh, just open the door up for me and allow me to do this. Well, let me give you an example. You, you, if you went to Cuba, and we'll get into this in a minute, yeah. do you think Fidel Castro would allow you to produce a movie and make millions of dollars trashing his system? Well, I don't know. That's a good question. I you? Could, I, you'd be killed. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, come on. Killed. Are you still, you're still following that line? It's not a line. I had a friend of mine whose family was killed by Castro when he uh -huh. came to power. When he came, oh, so what are we now, 40 years ago? Okay, 40 years ago, he's still uh -huh. a murderer. Yeah. He's what about the murder that's been done in our name in the last decade? The, you'd get, you're getting diverted here. No, what do you mean diverted? That's, that's what you don't want to talk about. That's the real issue, isn't it? Not what's really. What's been done in our name, in our Christian name, to Iraq, in Afghanistan, Michael, these other places. did you read the 9-11 Commission you know, report? Well, of course I did. Okay. It I says, made a movie called Fahrenheit 9-11. It says in the report, they were at war with us. We Who's weren't. The they? A, they, the terrorists that, that attacked the, the World Trade Center. The terrorists are criminal thugs. They're not a they're nation. They're not criminals. They're warriors. They're at war with they're us. The 9/11 Commission. They're not at warriors. Said. You've seen the footage of them climbing on the monkey bars, and you know you're making them out to be such a big thing, like they're equal to us. Are you kidding me? Only, only a wuss would be afraid of that. Oh, so we, these are these are criminals. Who Criminals. committed a mass murder of 3,000 people, and not, they should have been brought to justice by now. Why haven't they, Sean? You know, well, why first, they? because it's not as simple as you just sitting here oh, in the really? studio and saying, well, why weren't they brought to justice? I want them brought to justice. Oh, well, well, but why, actually, why have we taken now eight uh, plus years to. I, I took the 9 11 Commission report at its word. Uh -huh. And what, when it said they were at war with us, that's a war. You mm. know, when they're dedicated, well, wait a minute, if yeah. they ever get the bomb, if they ever, well, you know, Michael, listen, uh, you know, you know, Pol Pot, the killing fields, yeah. Soviet gulags and Soviet yeah, Russia, yeah. 30 million people. Yeah. I wrote a whole book, Deliver Us From Evil. I don't know if you've ever read it. Yeah. You know, no. Nazi Germany. Right. You know, you can have human atrocity yeah. and mass murder Absolutely. in our lifetime. Absolutely. There's been horrible, horrible things that have happened. So your point and is... My, and it's, my point is obvious. So if we don't why, treat it as a why war... Why then we, in this great country, this great free country, this great democracy... Why do we invade another country that did nothing to us? It's not as simple as that. That wasn't a threat. It's a simplistic. You're you know. given a simplistic analysis. Yeah, well, you know there weren't weapons of mass destruction. There. Well, none that we saw, none that we found. Oh, Sean, no, come on. Oh, wait a minute. Every... You're not into conspiracy theories, are no, you? No, I'm not, but I do believe this. Um, if we got it wrong, Bill Clinton got it wrong. Hillary yeah. Clinton got yeah, it wrong. Yeah, Bill Clinton got a lot wrong. The Israelis yeah. got it wrong. Yeah. The, every, yeah. the Soviets yeah. got it wrong. Every well, major power got actually, it wrong. Actually, by the time that, it, if, if, as you know, most of those countries uh, were trying to warn us, and even our own intelligence people were trying to tell us that we were going down the wrong road. But they were, they were told to say this, to say that, 
and and you know this is all going to come out you know eventually when? there will <laughs> soon i hope i hope there'll be trials within the obama administration i hope the justice department you really want to go, go down ahead. that road oh absolutely are you kidding if we don't go down that road will we will go down the road again of invading right. another country in the future if we don't take debate. care of the people the people that caused this horrible horrible crime I think in you've our got name. to defeat them. That's the difference between you defeat and me, who? is defeat the people that the plot, people? The, the people that plot, yeah. for example, the Kobar Towers, yeah, the First Trade Center bombings, yeah. the embassy bombings yeah, in Kenya and Tanzania. Yeah, the First Trade oh, okay. Center bombings, the USS we, didn't, Cole. we didn't treat them like they were some nation uh, that we, we had to go send an army after. We just caught the bastards That's my point. and we put it, them in prison. It emboldened them, though, so they felt like they were strong enough to come back. They did hijack all those airplanes. How many Michael? of them are there, by the way? You know, we don't know. What, what do you think? But I, you know what? what I don't do know. Think? It's a very interesting We're the United question. States of America, man. Well, but you, would you have... Come on. A, you want to gut You're our military? You're afraid of a few hundred guys on monkey bars? No, millions. Millions? Millions that buy into... Oh. To Islamic fanaticism. Millions who are millions. going to attack us. Millions, uh, I believe there's millions yeah, of people yeah. that believe there's virgins in heaven if they commit a suicide bomb. Yeah. Well, listen, all religions have their fanatics. Wouldn't you agree with that? No, some, not all, but most. Including probably. ours. Uh, are you one? You're, uh, I'm a religious fanatic. <laughs> yes, I'm a, I, I am actually. I, I, believe, I believe that when Jesus said that uh, you're to love your neighbor, as and yourself. you're to do as yourself. You're to love your enemy. You love your enemy? I don't hate you, by the way. You love your enemy, though? Yes, I do. You do? I do. So you love Al-Qaeda, then? No, I don't love them. I love them in the sense that I want to destroy them. I don't I think that's the love them. Jesus was talking about. I want them to see. They want to see Jesus. They want to go, they, they want, they want to go see Allah. I'm all in favor of giving them a first-class ticket if, if they don't respect human life and dignity. How do you think Jesus would handle this? You know, it's an interesting you question. You know, you Jesus would have the ability to change people's hearts. I don't have his powers. Oh, I wish I did. You're on TV every night at oh, 9 o'clock. Oh, I have all that power, Michael. Well, you do. I mean, you are on TV every night at 9 o'clock. And you watch every night, I hope. Well, not every night, but I do watch, right. and you haven't changed my heart. And coming up, my interview with Michael Moore continues, including his thoughts on Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, and much, much more. And Dana Pree.